guys. Yesterday, I had a massive day of eating donuts. I walked into a Krispy Kreme yesterday and I was like, ah, heaven. No joke, I had like four donuts yesterday. Like I haven't had a donut since I was like 16 years old. You know, back when I was in high school, when I would walk to school because I didn't want to take a ride with my brother because he drives like crazy Asian. So I would always walk to this donut shop at 7-Eleven. I remember I would just take a donut and I'd rip off all like the bread and I just eat like the piece of bread with like the crusties and the, you know, frosting on it. You know, like when you eat Lucky Charms and you like pick out the Cheerio stuff that nobody wants? Yeah. Um, I haven't done a tutorial in a long time. I know that I personally don't like to do tutorials because tutorials are hard. I don't really go out much to a point where I have to like put on makeup all the time. I just like prefer to be natural and you know sometimes just do a little pop of color. This is about all the makeups that I use on a daily basis. But mostly I just use like my foundation and something to draw on my eyebrows. Like eyebrows is a must for me. I have something that I can't leave the house without. Um, you know, it's like underwear. You have to have it on. Sometimes you just gotta free the V. And um, the only time I don't really wear eyebrows anymore is um, the gym because I switched to a woman's gym. So I don't look so scary anymore going to a, 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 a bisexual gym. So since I was doing my makeup today, I wanted to show you my regular routine on how I do my makeup for spring. And here is how I do simply my spring makeup with just a bunch of like sheen and stuff and um, I kind of pop the color out with. And so here is how I put on my mask this morning. Okay, so first I'm gonna start off with my eyes. And I've been getting sleep lately for the past two weeks. Yay! Now that I've been getting sleep, I've gotten rid of my like eye circles, but <laughs> that's why we have concealer. But, ah! I was talking this whole time and the camera was off. Okay, so I'm on a new foundation, which is my MAC Studio Face and Body. I think it's great for um, spring and summer. No, you don't want to be at the dog park with your eyebrows and face melting. I kind of switched over to the lighter foundation and I'm going to mix it up with my Clinique. Huh? Where did this mini hair come from? <clears throat> that better be for my eyelash. I'm going to take the butt of my foundation thingy and I'm just gonna spread it out without, you know, scrubbing it. And as you can see, it's already starting to highlight my face. This is called Starobing. I was at the gym today and this girl had hella greasy face. I don't know, somebody slapped her face with a butter pancake, but she looked really greasy like I threw my baking grease in a container that I always save at her face. That's why you should always take blotching um, tissues wherever you go because men don't like greasy. Okay, so next I'm going to take my um, face and body foundation. So as you can see that my neck has, you know, different colors in it. So what I do is, oh, this stuff like goes a long, long way. You don't need a lot. And this foundation is so much better than the Studio Fix because this can last me for a whole year. And then now I'm just gonna spread it around. And I, as you notice, I don't like, you know, go like this. You're facing a violin. And I just kind of like blend it out and onto my neck. <laughs> that is my B12 patch. And it just kind of gives my skin like that, just that natural, like without makeup look. Any YouTube guru that tells you they're not wearing makeup, it's a lie. Nobody has perfect skin. Unless you the butt cheeks of Amber Rose. When I take the small tip and just go in like small areas like your nostrils, your mouth, your eyes. See how it just kind of like gives it like a natural like um thing. I don't use any fancy lights or I don't use like you know any of that crap that other people use to make YouTube videos. I just use my window. So now I'm going to paint on my prized possessions. Voila. Okay, so the next thing is I use my Maybelline Fit Me, and this is just kind of to like, you know, seal in everything. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. And then I just tap it. I just kind of go over it, but I don't really, you know, paint my whole face because. So I've been using two different cheek products lately, and that is my Max Improvise. This is a highlighter. And what I do is I smile awkwardly and just put it into the apples on my cheeks. And I find it like, it makes my cheeks like just kind of have like, you know, a nice little soft blush. <laughs> like I saw a cutie at the McDonald's drive through Alright, the next cake layer, um, I've been using my Melba blush and I just use a very light stroke, like that. Just like that. I've always believed you should never place your, you know, um, blush onto, you know, the apples of your cheeks. Unless you lowered your price to $10 an hour. This looks really tacky and gross. Okay, next up for my eyes, I do it very, very simple, just with a highlight into my innards and uh, mascara. I woke up at like four this morning and drank like five cups of coffee by the time I got in my car to drive to the gym. Mm, my hands were like this. 
the reason why I put this in the corners just like that and it just kind of like opens up your eyes and I also put it underneath and this is just like my routine every day now for since spring started oh, I just put it at the very high arch like that and as for my eyes I always put my favorite mascara I always put on my L'Oreal um, Voluminous Lashes. I traded it in for the non-waterproof one. And it took me like eight years to really figure out what lashes worked for my mascara. I mean, it took me eight years to really find out what lashes, uh, what mascara works for my lashes. So last but not least, um, so th since this is how I usually keep my face during, you know, when it's springtime or whatever. So since it's springtime, I just like to add a little pop of color, and that would be my chubby stick. Um, this is an intense wipe and begin. And voila! That is my pop of color for spring. That is my fresh spring face makeup. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Toodaloo!